In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rearrange pages in Google Docs. But let me be clear that this method is only suitable for moving a few pages. And if you have a document with hundreds of pages, then you want to use a different method. One of them is by downloading the document as a PDF and then using Adobe Acrobat, you can easily rearrange pages with that software. And then you can save the document and then upload it back to Google Docs. So I think that is the only possible way or the most convenient way to rearrange dozens of pages. But if you're just moving uh, a few pages, then this method is something that you can try. So what I want to do now is I'm going to move this page number one to the position of page number two. Basically, I want to page number one and number two to be switch location. So what I need to do now is I'm going to create a temporary page. Basically, it's just an empty page where I could just uh, put some of the content right there before it would eventually move to the uh, final destination. And how to add a new page, you might ask. Well, it's quite simple. You can you could just pay, uh, place the cursor at the very top or at the very end of the page. And I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut, Control and Enter. So this will basically create a uh, page, empty page that you can populate. So as I said earlier, I want to move uh, the page number two, but now it's page number three. And I want to move it to the page number one. So I'm going to select the content from that page and I'm going to right click on them, click cut, and let's go back to the real page number one. I click here and click paste. So now we have this page number two, but now has been relocated to page number one. So of course there's this empty page that we don't want to use, so just remove it. I can just place the cursor here and press the backspace key to remove it. And there you go. Now we have these two pages switch position. And uh, of course, there are some other combinations that you can try, but that's basically the idea. You, you want to create a temporary page where, where you could put some other pages or one page before you move it to another or different page. So that's how you can do it. I hope you find this video helpful.